Shopify website design tutorial. Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can design your Shopify store in a matter of minutes. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. First step is to sign up onto your Shopify store. Now, if you haven't signed up onto Shopify, you can sign up by clicking the link down in the description below and you will be able to get three months in just one dollar. So if you wanna grab that offer, click the link in the description below and avail that offer now once you have signed up onto your shopify store you are good to go next step is to go ahead and come over here onto the left hand side of your dashboard and click on the online store button click on it and it will take you over here onto the scene section of this website and what over here you can do is to select a theme so currently you will have the dawn theme as a default i personally like dawn theme so i'm not going to change that but if you want to change your theme just simply click over here onto the add theme button and over here you can visit the theme store or you can upload your own theme or you can even connect it to github as well so let me just show you how you can add different themes within your store and once you click on the theme store click on explore themes right here and you will see you have 11 free themes and 96 paid themes you can choose any of these themes so let's say this is the theme that you like you want to use this theme you just simply click on the theme and click on try theme what it's going to do is going to give you a couple of minutes and it's going to add the theme over to your store and over here you can see the theme being uploaded right here give it a couple of seconds and it should be uploaded and you are good to go but as I said before, I'm going to stick with the Dawn theme, which is the default theme. So I'm just simply going to go ahead and remove this theme right here. And we are good to go. Then what you got to do is just simply click on the customize button and it's going to take you to the website editor right here. So over here, as you can see, this is how it will look like. This is how your theme will look like. And you can go ahead and mess around with it and see which option best suits you. So over here onto the left hand side, you will see all of the aspects of your website. So at the top, you will have your announcement bar and header. And at the bottom, you will have your footer. And in between, you will have other sections as well. You can add and remove each of these sections to your liking. So for example, let's say we want to remove this one right here, the multi column. What we'll do is we'll just simply click on the multi column and click on delete by clicking on that trash can icon and it's going to delete that section then you have the multimedia collage we also don't need this so i'll just simply remove that as well and of course this video as well we don't need the video and then you are good to go and if you want to add different sections just simply click on add section and you can select each of these options you want so we want to add a collection list so that's pretty important. We're going to add that and you can also move it around as well. So as you can see, you can move around the section and it will show you how it will look like over here into the main screen. For now, I'll say I'll put the collection list right here. We want to talk about our brand first and then we have the collection list. Then we have the featured products and we have our quick links over here at the footer so let's go ahead and start editing it out so we have the image banner right here you want to add an image right here we can see over here onto the left hand side we have this option right here we're going to go ahead and change it we can delete it uh, replace it if you want you even have the second image option but we don't need that we're going to click on change and we're going to click on uh, select image and over here I already uploaded this image you can just simply click on upload button over here and upload the image that you want we have already added it so we're going to select that next what you can do is you can change the height of the banner you could go with the medium uh, small or a large it all depends on you medium banner looks nice or you can even adjust the section to the height of the image Next, you can select the center position of the button right here. We want to select it to middle center right here. Yeah, I think that looks nice. And we also want to remove this section right here. We don't need that. And we'll remove the text as well. Yeah, that looks much better. We also want to change up the button, right? We have shop all. I don't want shop all. I just want the shop so we'll remove that and here we go that looks much better it's already linked to all of your products so whenever someone clicks over here it's going to take them to all of the products that you have uploaded for now i think this looks much better now let's go ahead and save it there we go now what we want to do is we want to add some of our texts right here we can we want to talk about our brand over here you can talk about your brand for now i'm going to skip this section 
just to save time but you can talk about your brand over here you will have a better idea of what you want to write for your website so i'm going to skip this for now and we're going to move over here onto the next step which is the collection list so right here we have the collection list over here we can select all the collections that we have created for our website so let's go ahead and create some collections for it we have already saved it let's go back to our store right here our shopify homepage, and we're going to click on products and underneath product you will have collection we're going to click on collection and as you can see first you're going to have this one we'll remove this collection right here by clicking on more actions and click on delete collection there we go we have deleted it now let's go ahead and create a collection right here we want to add the name so first we want to add I'm going to create a collection called men's first we're going to skip the description of it and we're going to choose manual since we are going to be adding products manually we're going to click on save and we're going to go back there we go we have our collection let's go ahead and create another collection called women we're going to click on save there we go now let's go ahead and create a new collection and i'm going to call it new arrivals again manual and click on save there we go so now we have our collections created now what we need to do is we need to add different products to, into this collection and as you can see we have no products so let's go ahead and add our products we're going to click on add products right here and over here we're going to give the title of the product for the description i'm going to skip the description just to save time then what you want to do is add some files of your clothes we're going to add that you can add the pricing of it so it's 15 dollars the comparing price is going to be 20 dollars since we are setting it for cheap and the cost per item this won't be shown so let's say 10 dollars there we go you can add the sku and all of the other details that it asks you and once you have done it you are good to go then you just simply click on save and you are good to go now i'm going to go ahead and add a bunch of other products that i have and i'll catch you guys in a second all right so as you can see i've added all the products now let's go ahead and add them to their collections so i'm going to select this and click on more options and click on add to collection and this is for the women's and we're going to click on save there we go now i'm going to select and we're going to add this to the men's collection there we go the new arrivals collection we're going to click on save there we go now all of our collections are ready and all the products have been added now let's go back to our store so in the collections list now we're going to go ahead and we're going to select the collection and on the right hand side we're going to select men's collection there we go we're going to select that and for the second one we're going to select women's collection and for the third one we actually don't need this so we're going to remove that block and number of columns is going to be two there we go men and women there we go now what we want to do is want to select the featured product over here so as you can see this is the featured collection we're going to change it to featured products there we go this is like the new arrivals so we're going to change it to new arrivals there we go and now we want to select the product so over here instead we have the collection is going to be all we want to change the collection to new arrivals and we're going to click on select and we're going to click on save and here we go pretty simple and now what we want to do is want to select the top menu now we want to change it up a little bit so over here is the announcement bar right so this is what it says welcome to our store and over here we want to change it to something else you can add it for as i said before as the name suggests the announcements so for me i'll just say 30 percent off on all products there we go we're going to save that pretty simple and then we have the header right here and for this we have the default logo we're going to change it and we're going to upload our own logo here we go it took us to the settings option right here so we have the default logo right here we're going to select this we're going to click on done this is how it looks like looks pretty cool looks pretty decent you can change it to other colors as well like white or black it all depends on you and then just simply click on save and you are good to go and over here as you can see this is how it looks like we can go with the bigger one or smaller one it all depends on you we're going to select that here we go we can even change the logo width as well or the height whatever the size of it 
it all depends on you and now we are good to go then we just simply save it and now what we want to do is actually we want to change up some of these buttons so for that what we'll do is we'll go back it's in online store and underneath online store in navigation you will see it right here and here we have the menus right we have the main menu the footer menu so over here what you're going to have to do is you'll just simply click on the main menu and we have the home page the catalog the contact right we are going to remove the home page and the catalog and we're going to add another option right here we're going to add men's over here and over here we're going to select collections right here and we want to select men's collection and we're going to click on add there we go we're going to add the same one for women as well there we go then we just simply click on save and we are good to go now we come back over here let me just reload it once you have done it it should pop up right here actually let me change up the logo real quick yeah i think that looks much better yeah we're going to select that there we go that looks much better there we go as you can see men and women are available right here now all that's left for us to do is to add and edit our footer so over here we have our footer option right here we have quick clicks info and our mission as well we can go ahead and remove this one right here we can remove this one our mission and as well as the info button as well we actually don't need that and we'll just remove quick links as well now what we need to do is we need to go back to our store and as i said before over here once we go into the navigation option we're going to go into footer menu and over here we're going to add different stuff so for this one we're going to add policies for this one we'll need to go into the settings option and scroll down you will see the policies option right here at the bottom and you can create from template of course as i said before this is just templates uh, if you actually want to add your own policies of course you're going to have to read them out change them up a little bit and over here we'll just say shipping takes up to there we go shipping takes one to two days to approve and another three days to arrive and then you have your contact information you can of course generate it from templates as i said before this is all just an example for you you're going to have to add actually read them and change your own policies and create them as well and once you're done that you are good to go now to actually add those policies within our footer what we'll need to do is go back to a shopify store right go into navigation and over here we will have footer option and of course we're going to rem remove the search button and over here we're going to add our own policies so we're going to click on the links and we have policies right here and we're going to go ahead and add these policies one by one there we go then we just simply click on save menu and we are good to go next what we can do is go back to our page and just simply click on save and all of our changes can be seen over here next to actually add our social media accounts what we'll do is we'll click on footer right over here onto the right hand side you will see you have underneath social media icons you will have social media icons and then scroll at the bottom you will see you have site settings click on it and it'll open up this page right here where you can add your twitter links so you have twitter facebook pinterest instagram tiktok tumblr snapchat youtube vimeo and once you've added them all those logos are going to be appear over here so just simply paste it right over here and just simply click on save and your twitter icon is going to be over here it's the same thing you can do with uh, facebook instagram tiktok and all of the others and you should be good to go now let me just go ahead and view it as well let me just exit out the editor and actually go ahead and preview my website so over here as you can see this is how it looks like looks pretty nice looks pretty cool uh, I don't have the products right here so I'm gonna have to go ahead and add them as well there we go now we, I have my products available right here I can go ahead and see them so pretty simple this is how it looks next if I come over here onto my store this is how it looks like let me actually reload it 
and at the bottom we can see our policies refund policy shipping and our social media icons so pretty simple this is how you do it this is how you create your own web page or your shopify store so again if you want to sign up on to shopify and create your store then click the link down in the description below you'll get a free trial of shopify as well